Hey guys, third time's charm. Oh, you just have one of those days. Wait, I always have one of those days. Anyway, how are you doing? It's Tuesday, which means time for a Tuesday video. Chad, Chatty Tuesday, Tuesday's chat? I don't know. Anyway, um. I have seen, uh, as of recent, um, two, uh, movie trailers. One, let's see here. One being, uh, the long awaited sequel to the original Na National Lampoon Vacation with Chevy Chase and Beverly D'Angelo. And, of course, they're back. And starring as the grown up Rusty, Ed Helms, and Leslie Mann as his sister Audrey. Um, and also, the film stars. Um, Leon. Why do I keep on saying Liam? It's not. It's Chris Hansworth. Oh my god, can I get it straight? Um, and Christina Applegate comes out. What did I say? July. Yeah, July 29th. So, yeah, check them out. It looks hilarious. It's basically how it is. It's Rusty wants his boys, bond, you know, more family bonding. So he's like, oh, I'll take him on a road trip to none other than Wally World. And if you've seen the first one, you'll understand. And supposedly in this movie, it's Wally World is also closing its doors. So, in order for him to have some more family bonding time, or to have family bonding time, he's like, oh, road trip. So, anyway, check that out. It looks hilarious. If I ever get a chance to see it, I will. And then, the uh, second one that I can remember seeing is a remake for Poltergeist. No, I'm not. I'm not sure. Obviously, it might not be the same as the... Uh, when the hell did that one come out? 80s, 80s first one. I want to say 81, but no. I don't know. I'll, if you've seen the original, you'll understand. So anyway, this one also. Let's see here. I have like notes upon notes upon notes. Um. Let's see here. Ah, uh, the remake is being produced by um Sam Raimi and Robert Ta Robert Tappen Tappert. Robert Tappert and it comes out this month, uh, May 22nd. So that's obviously next week. And it stars Sam Rockwell, uh, Rosemary Duet, Duet, uh, Jack Rumpf, Rumpf, I can't say the name, I'm sorry. Um, and Jane Adams, and it's being per er, directed by Gil Keenan and, like I said, produced by Roy Lee. Uh, Sam Raimi and Robert Talent, the two that are behind the Evil Dead movies. Oh, did I mention that Sam Raimi is from Michigan? I think I did. And so is, so is Bruce Campbell. I'm not lying. And then, oh my god. Also, uh, if you haven't seen or heard... Trish dropped her David Buell album and she dropped three videos all on her main channel. Um, she's the videos I've seen, she's done and songs obviously. She's done um, two remakes and one original that just dropped, like I said. Uh, the first one is Hot for Teacher, the second one is A Little Less Conversation, and the third one. I just dropped, was it last week or the week before, something like that. It's called Fat Chicks. I love that song. She is, you know, this, people will surprise you. And she's, I, I honestly think she did a good job. She's awesome. And also, in other news, according to, um, now I'm not kidding but about this, but I'm pretty sure the ending is all on the, not true sign. Whoa! Let's see here. This blog is on over on Shane Dawson, Dawson's channel, main channel. Um, for his segment on what the fuck news. 
it says basically this came from um daily viral stuff dot com uh let's see here <laughs> a woman in pit in Pittson, Pittsburgh was caught shoplifting from a local Walmart uh Thursday and things that she stole were milk, um some oranges, loaf of bread, dozen eggs, a full porter house, and a full rack of bacon. Total, she stole like almost, or if not, a hundred dollars worth of stuff from the Walmart. And basically, how she got caught and where she hid the stuff. Okay, basically, the cop, the employees kind of spot her like, hey, what's that, you know. Can you imagine me on that job? Hey, what are you doing? I'm nothing. Just shopping, feeding my baby. Anyway, she was caught shoplifting by the employees and who called the cops. And the first cop called gave her a quick pat down. She's like, Something's not right. She's got to have, you know. And then as he was batting down or finished or whatever, he saw couple of oranges fall from her pants. I'll let this sink in for a second. Okay. So he's like, so they brought her in to the station and had a female officer, you know, give her a thorough exam. And upon a thorough exam, she found said items. Let's soak in. Soaked in. Okay. How she sold these items? These items? She shoved them up her her hoo ha, her vagina. Yeah. Um. No, whether or not she is getting charged, she's facing charges and fines. But supposedly, according to this article, uh, Walmart's, which um, prosecute shoplifters to the fullest. It has not decided to press charges on their lines. It's it's just too damn funny. And honestly, when I read this, I laughed my ass off. I laughed so hard, I was crying. I'm like, no, that can't be true. And the bottom, the end of the article, supposedly said that the not only were the items returned to Walmart, but... Yeah. This sales team put items back but and they also renamed them placenta oranges and pre-soaked french toast yeah and supposedly they did put them back which I don't think it's true actually I know it's not true because that's not good okay so obviously they destroyed them, whatever. But can you imagine having to do that job and seeing some random chick just come up there to grab oranges and shove them up and hoo hoo? Oh my god. What is going on with this lady? You know? I, I can't. I can't. <laughs> yeah, I can't. That's freaking funny. Seriously, how? What is this lady thinking? Oh, instead of putting stuff in my bag or in my jacket, in my shirt or whatever, I'll just shove these things up my hoo. Uh, no. Oh my God. No, we women know how it is, and we give birth, and it, you know, we know. But that was not made for that. No, 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 no. Just, oh my god. Just, oh my god. Oh my god, right? Why, I tell ya. Also, I've teamed up with, <laughs> on another note, I've teamed up with ThriveMarket.com, which sells nat safe, natural, affordable. Uh, cleaning product, or how they call it, home goods, kids and baby stuff, um, health, bath and body, um, yeah, I got my notes. 
um, food for very decent prices, you know. And I've seen it. I checked them out. Um, yeah. So, uh, if I remember, I'll put the links below. Not only to Thrive in my in my link, but also um, Julep is having another offer for your lipstick. Again, links below. Uh, I'll put um, Trisha's links below as well, and the website where I got the story for the shoplifting the vagina shopper. Shoplifting vagina. No. I don't know how to call that. That is just. Oh my god. I can't. I can't. It's too flippin' funny. So anyway. um, Thanks for watching. <laughs> I'm sorry if this is a little bit boring. But. Oh. Before I leave. Before I leave. Uh, you have to check out. If you've never seen it before and you want a good laugh, great laugh, it's called um, Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. It's hilarious. I watched it last night and I died laughing. I died laughing a lot. I must be a laughing ghost. Hmm. Mm. Anyway, um, yeah. So, anyway, uh, love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, click that subscribe button. Uh, become part of the Grumpy Pokemon crew. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you like these types of videos. Or if you have questions, comments, you can leave them on my social medias. Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Google+, and Snapchat. And always here in the comments section. And I'm going to say this. If you're going to troll and be mean... Not only to me or anyone of my ones. Hold on, Max. I'm not going to pay attention to it. No. It's done. You get deleted right away. I'm not going to have that. So anyway. Having that said. Thank you once again for all. For watching and sticking with me. Uh, yeah. I love you guys so much. Thank you. Um, and I'm sure I'll be back sometime with another video. Anyway. Thanks for watching. Bye.